that tomorrow there'll be sunshine. What up, Internet? Corinne here, and you're watching Corinne vs. Pin. So I have been perusing the good old Pinterest a lot lately, and I found a ton of boards titled Corinne vs. Pin that you guys have been making. Not only does that make me feel really special, but I found a ton of new ideas that are just itching to be tried on this show. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, shameless Instagram blog, you would know that I love flowers. So when I came across this pin, I was like, I need that in my life. So let's get started, shall we? I'm gonna be following this blog, which shows a very beautiful final product. Step one, acquire flora. Just gotta grab my shade structure. Oh, I need a hat. Can't go out like this. Your hair matches the house. And a little flower collector thingy. Head to the outside lands. Right out here. Ah, we're gonna be all right. Sun is good. The sun is good, it helps things grow. I just don't happen to like being outside in it. Let's try to make this quick. Everyone seems to be buzzing about these flowers, but I'm not sure they'll work. Ah! Jesus. I don't think these will work either. Super pretty though. I think clovers are a pretty good option. They're delicious as well, so that's a winning factor. Tastes a little like dog pee. I heard that's good for you though. Don't want to pick any of these flowers though because these flowers turn into the blackberries. At least I think that's how it works. Nature. These phantom petunias are pretty pretty. So yeah, I guess we'll use some of those. And then maybe some of these. Hold up. Japanese maple, y'all. One of my favorite little trees in the world. This sh gonna pop. Hey, the directions say I need to press these flowers and Martha is trying to tell me that that can take up to 10 days and ain't nobody got time for that. So we're gonna do this ironing technique that I found on this other blog. Just gotta go downstairs and get some heavy books real quick. This one is suspiciously light for its size. Harry Potter to the rescue. Yep, I think these ones are gonna have to come as well. Huh, yeah, they're pretty hard to carry up the stairs while trying to film on my iPhone. No, 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 no. Yep, this is on par for how I saw things going. That's all right though, we got all our books. And now I just have to sandwich the first batch of flowers between a couple sheets of parchment paper and place the stack of books on top for about 10 minutes. Next, I took the sandwich flowers over to the good old ironing board. But instead of moving the iron back and forth like you would iron a shirt, well not like you, you don't iron shit. Yeah, instead of doing that, you have to press each spot for about 15 seconds. And also make sure the iron has no water in it. The point is to dry out the flowers. Okay, so the clovers and the vine leaves turned out all right. Those pink flowers on the other hand didn't really turn out the best, but you know what? I can still work with it. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. In it. This picture shows all the beautiful fresh picked flowers and the next picture has what appears to be the final pressed flowers that came from that picture and none of them look like the flowers used in this final candle situation here. Pinometer, what the fuck? Yeah, I always knew this was bullshit. You should have never abandoned me. Well then, I guess I'm just gonna have to press on and see what happens. Now I just have to light another candle, and as the blog says, heat up both sides of the spoon. Probably wouldn't want your parents to walk in at this point. Might have some explaining to do. Yeah, and thanks for not telling me to wipe the spoon off first, blog. Made a freaking mess everywhere. And actually, I think you should only heat up one side of the spoon so you don't have to worry about wiping off all this soot during the process. And here's a helpful tip. Don't use mom's nice flatware for this project. She probably wouldn't like that. All right, I guess you could say I'm having success getting the foliage to melt into the candle, but the flowers were a little harder to get in there You just got to make sure the spoon is really hot. Sure. I guess it looks pretty cool I don't know you be the judge for scientific purposes and definitely not because I was being lazy I tried a petunia without going through the pressing process and that did not work at all So you definitely don't want to do that now, you know So then I had to press some more things the pressed petunia went on pretty good It was still super fragile though, and it didn't look that great on the candle. The butterfly bush thing did not work at all, so don't even try that one. Could be worse, could be worse. I'll tell you what the real winner is though. These freaking maple leaves look dope on here and they're super easy to get on there. So I think this is a win. As cool as this one came out though, I'm gonna have to call shenanigans on this pin. I don't think there's any way this candle was made using the technique described in this blog. Hold on, what's this website? 
this is where they came from. I'm pretty sure these fing things weren't made using a goddamn spoon. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Yep, that's right. That's it for this week. As always, we want to know what projects you want to see us make on this channel. Leave your suggestions in the comment down below, and I'll see you later. Can't hard to do the scissor snips and hold the selfie stick and the umbrella at the same time.